Always worry playing this for the first time if I haven't played for a few days, but we'll just get into the zone. Imagine that, like two weeks ago, telling me that Genshiro's the best warm-up for me. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'd be like, what? Warm-up? Now I totally agree. I wish in real life I had a healing gourd. That was my off-stream game. I like to have a game I play on stream and then something I can play off stream to like relax and, and Ghost of Shishima is so easy but it was I was worried because it's a kind of a reflex like block attack game it could mess up my timings and stuff on the Sekiro so I decided to uh, decided to stop playing it for now but I will I will go back and finish it it's so good eh so good I thought I was like near the end of it and then I found out I'm nowhere near the end of it But yeah, it's amazing. So much, um, what you call it? Like respect, considering it was made by, um, it's the company that made it British or American. Cause it's the guys that did the infamous games as well, isn't it? Um, but they weren't Japanese and to show like so much respect get out of my way oh they showed like really good respect for like japanese culture let's just kill this thing then jump jump up or not or not oh yeah no we made it that's okay it's so beautiful eh? you can just you can just ride around for like ages just looking at stuff taking in the views and stuff it's such a good chill out experience do you know i haven't done god of war ragnarok yet i've done like just god of war and i played all the old god god of war games but i haven't done ragnarok yet the reason is purely because in new zealand video games are like 140 dollars so I have to kind of be like, my wife insists that we like pay for food and stuff like that before I buy video games. So I have to be a little bit careful. See if we can just de-aggro this guy and then we'll go back in and yeah, $140 for a video game. It's, I tend to wait till they go on sale, but of course the Sony first party stuff um, doesn't often uh, go on sale. Ah, uh, keep doing that. No, that's not him. Who's this? This is different. It truly stirs my soul. Don't hit him. Okay, he's figured out I'm a shinobi. Yeah, don't, don't pressure me, buddy. I'm clearly not allowed to tell people. Oh, you didn't call me names this time, that's good. Oh, messed up. Ah, oh. oh no, that was okay, I did. Oh, what? 
Got that really wrong. I can um, I can see what you mean about fighting a couple of those when you um, if you had other enemies around that would be a real pain in the ass fight. Oh, I messed up. There we go. Imagine if I didn't have Sebi Maru, I'd just have to run past this crazy. Right. Okay, so open up at Sebi Maru. B out of habit. Man, she even takes off. What the hell was that? She hasn't done that yet. Before. Be really cool if she just fell off the edge. She's actually quite got a really annoying um, attack pattern. The fact that that takes off. I can heal, I can heal, yes. Ooh. Lucky or what? What would I do without people in my chat who remember the game better than I do. I'd be, I'd still be sitting here doing, doing no good at all, I tell ya. Really annoying being stuck between him and the Oh, press the right button. Not even hard. Like, I just need to keep my finger away from the B button. Oh. 
I literally had to physically like maintain finger control. This guy. He was trying to mess mess things up for me. For a sunken valley, there's a lot of climbing. Oh, I heard that. Someone gave the monkeys swords. Okay, what idiot gave the monkeys swords? That reminds me, I saw a joke today where they were talking about Resident Evil games and they were like, every note that you pick up in Resident Evil games is like, we attached bazookas to the head of that bull and then fed it pure anger for nine months. Hopefully it doesn't break out. And then you find another note a bit later and it's like, the bull broke out. It's like, yep, that's how things go down in Resident Evil land. But I maintain that we should not give monkeys swords. Nothing good will come of it. Oh, look, they've got little helmets on as well. Did I just get shot at by a monkey? Did someone give the monkey guns to? Honestly, people, we've got to start thinking these things through a bit better. They're monkeys. Don't give monkeys weapons. Monkeys will mess you up, eh? Maybe a pointed stick? I wouldn't even give them that, man. A monkey a monkey will just smash your face, like, they don't even care. That is one seriously badass, impressive looking boss. Whoa! Oh, he's gonna eat me? Eat me, maybe? I guess we've just gotta wear his health down. Rather than try and stagger him. Oh, he threw poo at me! You damn dirty ape! He actually threw poop at me. That was cool though, he did throw poop at me. I think that's the first time I've ever had a boss in a video game throw poop at me. Okay, 